welcome to another episode of Dream Home Cooking. I'm so excited to be cooking in our brand new model home at Inspiration up on Green Mountain. As you can see, the kitchen is absolutely gorgeous and I have a fantastic menu today. I'm gonna cook up some pasta and um, I've got several dishes. I have a pizza pasta bake that I'm gonna start with first. And then I'm gonna show you guys a recipe called tortellini ham and peas that is so easy, but so delicious. And then I'm gonna make a caprese salad. And to finish it off, I'm gonna show you how I make my little pudding pound cake cups that are also delicious. So let's get started. Over here, I've got a skillet that I am going to turn on high. And I have got, this was a six, ounce log of pepperoni, it's the whole log, and I sliced it about a half inch thick, and I'm gonna put it in this pan and saute it just for about two to three minutes, and this has gotta get a little hot. While I'm waiting on that to heat up, over here I've got a pot of boiling water. I'm gonna add a half a box of corkscrew pasta. All right, so I'm gonna let this cook for about eight or nine minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna saute this pepperoni and you wanna watch it because it cooks, it's already cooked, but you're just browning it. And we're trying to get some of the grease from the pepperoni that we're gonna saute our onions and our garlic in. That makes it really delicious. Okay, the little pepperonis are browned and you just wanna cook them for about two to three minutes or until they kinda of curl around the edges. And then I'm gonna put them, this puts off a lot of excess grease. So I'm gonna take a slotted spoon and just place them on paper towels to drain. And then next, I'm gonna take some Italian sausage, and this is found in the little rolled sausages over by the pork sausage. And I'm only gonna use a half a roll of this. And then I'm gonna just brown this Italian sausage, and it'll take about six to eight minutes to do that. All right, so now all the Italian sausage is browned, and I'm gonna do the same process. Use a slotted spoon and remove the Italian sausage and just place it on paper towels for right now to let it drain. Once we get this, these two steps out of the way, then this dish will go fast. Okay, so now I've got the pepperoni and the Italian sausage draining. Now I'm gonna add to these wonderful drippings a half a cup of onion and a cup of sliced mushrooms. And of course, mushrooms, this is optional. You don't have to put them in there, but we love them. So I'm gonna put them in there. And then I'm just gonna saute the onion and the mushroom together for a couple of minutes until they're brown. And then I'll add my garlic and a little bit of red wine and some seasonings. Okay, so the onions and the mushrooms are nice and brown. Now I'm gonna add the minced garlic. And this is three cloves of fresh garlic. And you wanna make sure you do it in the latter part of cooking this dish so that it doesn't burn or get bitter. Okay, and I'm gonna turn the heat way down now. And then I'm gonna add my 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Okay, so there's the can of tomatoes. Then I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. You can just eyeball it in the palm of your hand. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, depending upon how you like your uh, level of heat, <laughs> spice-wise. Then I've got a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. And then I have a quarter cup of red wine, and of course that's optional. You can certainly leave that out if you'd rather. It does um, add a unique flavor to the dish and the alcohol cooks out. So this part of it is done. So what I'm gonna do now is just let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And then when we come back, I'll show you guys the last step in getting this dish complete. And I'm gonna work on the tortellini ham and peas dish. My father started this business in 1977. The people that work for us is part of what sets us apart. All of our employees have experience. All of our plumbers have been with us for 10 years or greater. Our motto at Dean and Son is quality and service. We're gonna do quality work. We don't leave people hanging. We're there when we're supposed to be. We're done when we're supposed to be. Living up to what you sell and service them after they pay you, that's where your integrity in the plumbing business comes. Dean and Son Plumbing Company, call today at 518-9780. 
I had the best dream last night. We were building a new house or remodeling, and I found the most gorgeous tile. Tumbled noche for the master bath, Venetian gold granite for the kitchen, and a beautiful custom backsplash. And while shopping, I ran into Jean-Luc. So, you're heading to Jenkins Brick and Tile today? Yeah. I'll go with you. Jenkins Brick and Tile, Madison Boulevard in Madison. We'll show you the tile of your dreams. When we came to looking for a cabinet company and a uh, manufacturer to use, and with Wellborn being the selection, Wellborn has a good foundation within the company and the folks that run their company. And when you have a good foundation, things typically follow suit with that and things will, will stay steady. Their values, I feel like, are on a solid foundation. I feel like their true intent is to build a product that will be a lasting product. And you're going to love what you see. Wellburn Cabinets, the essence of cabinetry at Woodland Homes of Huntsville. Okay, we're back and I'm finishing up the pizza pasta bake. So now what I'm gonna do, the sauce has been simmering for 10 minutes and I'm just gonna add back the cooked Italian sausage. I'm not ready, quite ready for the pepperoni yet. So I'm gonna add that back and then my pasta is cooked and drained and I'm gonna add that to it. And remember, you just wanna use half the box. And also, um, I didn't mention before, you wanna use an oven-proof skillet because this is gonna go in the oven on broil for just a few minutes when we finish it up. So then you just wanna make sure you get all that pasta coated with this wonderful sauce. Okay, so now the pasta is all good and coated with that delicious sauce, and now I'm just removing it from the heat. Bring it over here, and I'm gonna finish up the last few steps. I just want to make sure this is all evened out, not overflowing out of the pan. All right, so now I'm going to take fresh mozzarella slices and I'm going to kind of break them up and just place them evenly all around the dish. This is the best part. This mozz fresh mozzarella cheese is so delicious. And it's really pretty when it all melts up. Okay, and then I'm going to take the pepperonis and I'm just gonna place them also evenly just around the dish. And then I'm gonna pop this in an oven on broil just for about two minutes. You wanna make sure you don't walk away, don't answer the phone, don't leave it. But I'm not gonna do that quite yet because we're not ready for Mike to get here just about yet. So I will put this to the side and broil it later. And then I'm gonna get started on the tortellini ham and peas dish. And you know, in this day and time, we are all so very busy. Sometimes you just need a quick meal for a weeknight for the family. Um, I call this semi-homemade cooking because I'm cheating just a little bit, but it's okay because there are some really great sauces on the market that are already pre-made and it makes your life a lot easier. So that's what I'm doing with this dish. So what you wanna do is start with a 12 ounce package of chopped ham or cubed ham, and you find this over by the ham steaks and just your hams in general. And that's a little high. <laughs> All right, so you heard that sizzle. So you just wanna take this ham and just let it heat through, it's already cooked. But before I add the sauce and the peas, I'm just gonna let it heat through. You are gonna be amazed at how quick it is to make this dish and everybody I've made it for absolutely loves it. In fact, I posted this on my cooking blog a couple of weeks ago and I got over 350 views on it within 24 hours. So it was definitely a popular dish. All right, so it only takes maybe two minutes just to get that ham heated through. Now I'm gonna take my jarred sauce. This is Bertoli, it's the only brand of Alfredo sauce that I use. Um, I enjoy making my own Alfredo sauce, but I'm just trying to demonstrate a really quick weeknight meal or weekend that you guys can serve your family in a quick hurry. It's very rich and creamy. My Dylan will sit down and eat three bowls of this. He absolutely loves it. And this makes about six servings. Okay, so I've got my sauce in there. You wanna use two jars. Give that a stir. 
And then, depending upon whether you like green peas or not, I like to put, I've got a little more here than what I'm gonna put in there, but you wanna put about a half a cup to a cup. Now, Mike normally doesn't like green peas just straight out of a bowl like this, but he enjoys them in this dish, so that might be a way to get some green peas into your family. So I'm just gonna add about half of that bowl. Then I'm gonna add some cracked pepper. And guess what, this is done. I'm gonna stir it and I like to let it just sit for about 10 minutes on low. Just let it all get heated thoroughly. And so while this is heating through, in the meantime, I'm going to come over here and put my tortellini. Now you can find this tortellini in the freezer section. They also have it in the refrigerator section, but you want a 20 ounce bag and it's just cheese tortellini. It's delicious. There are just some things out there now that are so delicious that are already made up. Why make it when you can buy it and it's delicious? So I'm gonna let these tortellini cook about three to four minutes and you don't wanna bring it to a boil. They don't take long to heat through at all. So three, four minutes. So just watch it. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit and stir it. This is pretty much the second dish, the tortellini ham and peas. And I'll put it together in a little bit and show you guys how I plate it up. And then when we come back, I'm gonna get started on my little pudding pound cake cups. And I'm gonna show you guys how I put together my version of a caprese salad. Want to create something extraordinary? Create perfection. Our lifestyle appliances make it easy. GE Monogram, Bob Wallace Appliance, and you, when only the best will do. Since 1983, individuals and businesses in Alabama have relied on Wolf Jones, Conchin, Wolf Hancock, and Daniel for their legal representation. Our experienced attorneys offer high quality legal counsel in commercial law, real estate, and personal injury litigation. So if you need an attorney, hire the best attorney you can. Call the experienced North Alabama attorneys of Wolf Jones, Conchin, Wolf Hancock, and Daniel to arrange your initial consultation because we're dedicated to setting the standard for legal services. There's something about carpet that gives a room a warm, soft feeling. Our carpet also gives you something else, peace of mind. All of our exclusive carpet brands are made in the USA and come with a lifetime warranty. So feel free to live your life exactly the way you want. Get your soft carpet from the flooring experts at Woldy Flooring. Visit our new showroom in Madison, locally owned since 2002. Okay, we're back and I have another semi-homemade recipe for you guys. This is dessert and it's the pudding pound cake cups. So what I have here that I'm, that I'm cubing up is the Sara Lee pound cake that you buy in the frozen section. It's the large one. And you just let it thaw in your fridge overnight. And then I took it out and I've just cut it up into cubes. Here I have a large box of vanilla pudding that I mixed with whole milk that makes it taste a little richer. You can certainly use skim or 2% if you prefer. And then I have Cool Whip and I have some little chocolate chunks. So now I have my little assembly line. First you wanna start with the pound cake and you just drop some pieces down in there. You can also add strawberries or blackberries or blueberries to this. You can just get really creative and put your own spin on it. So you just want to put six to eight cubes of pound cake into each glass. And then you're just going to take a scoop of pudding, just drop it in there. Maybe about a tablespoon to two tablespoons in each one. And then I'm going to come back and do a second layer. Okay, so then I've got my pudding. Now I'm just going to go and do a little scoop of each. And then I'm going to start, I may have put too much on my first layer, so my second layer won't be as big so we'll just kind of push them down in there and I tell you if you guys look behind me at this beautiful kitchen these are Welburn cabinets and we have 
used Wellborn cabinets in all of our kitchen and baths for the last 10 years exclusively. And we just had the privilege of going down, we took our sales team and Tony Nicholson, who is our incredible in-house cabinet designer, we took a field trip um, for two days. We went down to Ashland, Alabama. We got to tour the entire facility and meet Mr. and Mrs. Wellburn, all of their beautiful children. They all work together in this company and it is the most awesome process. We've got to see where the trees are on the ground and what they do with those trees, how they take that tree and make it into the most gorgeous cabinet like you see all the way to shipping them, putting them in the boxes, showing us how they get them on the trucks. And I mean, they're all over the United States. So I highly endorse Wellburn Cabinets. They're one of our sponsors for our cooking show as well. And we appreciate them so much. And you know, we, Woodland Homes prides itself on the beautiful kitchen and baths that we've always had for the last 18 years we've been in business. And one of the reasons is because of this incredible product, Wellburn Cabinets. All right, I'm getting a little tall on this one. But you can see how pretty it is. You can see it through the glass. All right, and then I think a nice touch is just to add a few of these little chocolate chunks. So you see how simple this is. I mean, you can whip this up in two minutes flat. All right, so I'm gonna put these in the fridge to rest for a little bit. And then I am gonna show you guys how I put together my version of a caprese salad. Okay, I've got everything laid out for my caprese salad, and I like to do mine with mixed greens. There are 20 different ways you can do a caprese salad. Some people just do mozzarella, tomato, and basil. I like to put a little mixed greens on the side, so I'm just gonna plate up two salad plates and show you guys how I, how I do this. I've got fresh tomatoes sliced and fresh mozzarella sliced, and then little slices of basil. So you just wanna kinda line it like this with a little piece of, you don't need a lot of basil, but just enough. So then they put a little, you can put a little mixed green, and this is mixed greens, and I also put a little arugula in there. I love arugula. Not everyone loves it. Um, it's got a real nutty flavor to me. I think it's delicious. All right, so you just wanna put a little green on the plate, and then I've got a little bit of kosher salt, a little bit of fresh ground pepper, and then my favorite part is a little pesto, and you can buy pesto, once again, semi-homemade cooking. You can buy it already made up, and that's what I did. And I like to just put a little dollop on the side. And then I serve it with balsamic vinegar and a really good extra virgin olive oil, and you just can drizzle that over this, and it's absolutely delicious. Goes great with all the pasta dishes I made today. I want to talk to y'all about where we are. I mentioned in the beginning that we're at Inspiration up on Green Mountain, but I tell you, this has been the most exciting community I think that we've ever done. We've never built homes on a mountain, and the views out here are absolutely spectacular. We have incredible bluff lots with gorgeous views of the city. The school systems are fantastic out here. Grissom High School is, is the high school. Um, just down the mountain, it's a couple of miles, and you've got a Publix, all kinds of wonderful shopping. So it's in an excellent location still, as Mike always does. Um, he always chooses wonderful locations to put his homes. And I think he is like a little kid in a candy shop with this community. The entryway is something to see out here. My mother also decorated this model home, and it is breathtaking. When you walk in, it's so grandiose, yet it's so warm. And it's just a really comfortable home. And I would encourage you guys to come out any day of the week and take a look and tour this model home at Inspiration on Green Mountain. It is absolutely breathtaking and it's worth, worth seeing. So I've got this little salad plated up. I'm gonna do a few more. And then when we come back, Mike is gonna be with us. I'm gonna get the pizza pasta bake out of the oven, pour the sauce over the tortellini and get my little dessert cups out and we'll be ready to taste all this wonderful food. At Quality Plus, our motto is don't call three, call me. Because where else can you find North Alabama's finest craftsmen who can handle all of your residential roofing, drywall, and painting needs? At Quality Plus, all work is 100% guaranteed. And no job is too big or too small, whether it's new construction or remodeling. So for your roofing, drywall, and painting needs, don't call three, call me. At Quality Plus Production, 256-990-7578.
Hello, today we are at Inspiration and I am so excited. This is uh, part of our new signature series that you're gonna be seeing uh, in a lot of our Woodland homes and we're excited about this new series of home that we're uh, offering as well. And part of that series are these beautiful iron doors. And what makes them really kind of nice is the fact it kind of makes you like, like the old New Orleans doors to where you basically during the during the springtime and when it's nice outside open these doors up so you can get great ventilation beautiful beautiful product uh, and uh, this is featured in all of our signature homes this particular floor plan is uh, a home a new model that we've just completed and uh, we just furnished it uh, just uh, just recently so this is our latest and greatest product and there are so many features that i'm really excited about i can't wait to show them all to you so here you have a big huge gathering room we're using this as an information center right now but this is just kind of our our gathering room but this particular plan when I started to say this is the, the plan that I want to build I got with my designer and took a pen and a piece of paper I said let's add a keeping room to it but we put a little twist onto it and when I say a twist we actually put an off set keeping room and it's all about the family it's your keeping room it's your breakfast room and it's your kitchen i could move in this and live in this keeping room and be totally happy it is absolutely fabulous well there's melissa melissa's in the kitchen and uh another thing is you've got your great woodland home kitchen and you've got the dream home cooking girl uh in the kitchen today i'm just tidying up <laughs> from making a big mess in here but you've got you know you've got all the features that you would expect in a woodland home in the kitchen it's a great great kitchen and all of our kitchens are great because we have a great design team uh, and we put great great products in our kitchen but, but another thing is our bathrooms absolutely have you have you seen the master no i was in a hurry to get in here and start cooking and get the show let going, me tell so. you my design team and i we spent countless hours designing this particular bathroom and it is literally going to blow you away oh, it God. it really it'll make you want to build another house oh i'm sure so <laughs> i mean it's that exciting come on That's let me go show it to you absolutely isn't it gorgeous I mean, just the craftsmanship and all of the tile work and the decorative columns. And I the, love these showers that you're doing now. You're loving them. Our customers are going crazy over uh, what we call a zero entry shower. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, what's neat about those showers is the fact that you don't have any step ups and step overs and they're very, very easy access. Yep. This particular series will feature uh, also two shower heads. Yeah. So that comes uh, with all of our uh, signature Mike Friday homes. And uh, another thing that's just uh, absolutely gorgeous is now we're also featuring our uh, beveled leaded glass I windows over that, that tub. So what do you think? I think it's absolutely incredible. I'm so proud of this new product, new community. You think people Greenbelt. would like to come see it? Yes, <laughs> without a doubt. Well, if we're this excited, I know that uh, prospects out there looking for a new home are also going to be excited. Yes. But the way to get information is to simply come see us. Our model up here is open seven days a week. Uh, or you can log on to our website, woodlandhomes.com, uh, or just give us a telephone call at 830-9000. So come see us, and we look forward to seeing you. In choosing a contractor in today's market, you know, finding someone that is going to take care of you and make sure that you're happy with your product, with the quality, it's not an easy task today. The most important thing to me is doing what you say you can do, taking care of the customer, installing a, a, a product that is superior. My motto is call the lady with a team you can trust, and I feel confident that we are a team that you can trust.
If you're looking to build your dream home, this is where it starts. Introducing the Dream Studio by Woodland Homes, where the highest quality meets the best value in North Alabama. When it comes to craftsmanship, we're second to none. At Woodland Homes Dream Studio, you'll be working with seasoned professionals who are dedicated to providing you with unparalleled service and attention. When you walk through the door, we want to make you part of our family. The Dream Studio by Woodland Homes. Your dream starts here. Please call 830-9000 today. Okay, we're back, and I've got Mike with me in the kitchen today. And yeah. Inspiration. I had a ball cooking in you this did. kitchen. Yes, Isn't I this did. a great kitchen? It is absolutely beautiful. This is our latest and greatest uh, home that we built. It's a yes. brand new model up at Inspiration on Green Mountain. And really, when you talk about the best of the best, in my opinion, this is I the agree. this is the best we've ever done. Yeah, it is definitely worth uh, coming up to uh, to Green Mountain on Inspiration and, and looking at this mm -hmm. model. It's a brand new floor plan. It's uh, new amenities. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got uh, you know the big iron doors and oh, yeah, yeah, and uh, I didn't say anything about that, but and, I did say a little about it. Yeah, I mean you walk through this home. Homes in here started in the three hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollar price range, and it's got amenities in here that would you know. Uh, that you find in six and seven hundred thousand dollar homes. Know. So. I know. I was talking to somebody the other day who had been through here, and they said they thought it was at least six hundred thousand. I said no. Yeah. You can no. Yeah, in the three hundred thousand dollar price rate. So, yeah. But so you know what? What drives a lot of that is that this piece of property I was able to to get a great buy mm -hmm. because I bought it from a bank, sure. and so we are able to pass those savings on to our customers. Mm -hmm. So this inspiration. Uh, on Green Mountain offers a tremendous amount of value. Our homes are going to be 3,000 square feet uh, all the way up to 4,500, uh, 5,000 square feet. And for that, you get three car garage on a crawl space with what we are calling our signature series, mm -hmm. which is even a step above our executive series. So it is our latest and greatest series. So it's a tremendous amount of value. Great school systems, great location. Every single home site is, is, sits on a wooded lot. Mm, and, lots. and not only that, we have uh, bluff views. Yep. So, I mean, being able to live on top of a mountain with a gorgeous bluff view of Hampton Cove for uh, under $400,000 is just simply amazing. Yes, I so, agree. It's a steal. So what have you what have you been cooking? This well, looks I great. I did a little pasta day with some salad. You know our favorite salad, our, the caprese salad. Yep. So I made that and then I've got the tortellini ham and peas. Which that, is Dylan's favorite. That's his, yep, he'll tear that up. And then this is my little pizza pasta bake yeah. that I just yeah, started we, making yeah, a while back. A couple weeks ago. Yeah, uh -huh. and then my little pudding cups. Well, everything looks absolutely fabulous. So for more information on Melissa's recipes, you yeah. can. You can log on to woodlandhomes.com. You can find us on Facebook at Dream Home Cooking with Woodland Homes and our Woodland Homes page. And we'd like to thank our sponsors as well because absolutely. without them, we couldn't do this they show. They do a great so job. They're awesome. So if you want to visit um, Inspiration, uh, go Bailey Cove Road, turn left on Green Mountain Road, come all the way up to Green Mountain Road. And as soon as you get to the top, veer off to the right, and we're about two-tenths of a mile on the left-hand side. So beautiful entrance. Our model is open seven days a week. All of our models are open. But if you want information uh, on the phone, just give us a call, 830-9000. Uh, and, or log on to our website, woodlandhomes.com. So right, anyway, good to see y'all and let's dig in. 